so guys welcome back to the gta part 18 so in this video we'll have a look how we can create a beautiful main menu like gta san andreas as you know we are inspired by gta san andreas so we will create a main menu like gta so of course it will not contain all the features like gta but uh, we will add them later but now in this video we'll learn how we can create the design of gta san andreas main menu and we will add some kind of scripts so yeah without wasting any more time let's get start Alright guys, so you have to right click over here and then create a canvas over here and then create a panel inside of canvas. So you have to change the color of canvas and if you see side corners which are looking colorful then what you need to do, you have to click on camera and set its color to black by selecting skybox and then click on solid color and set its color to black. Alright, so I have this kind of some kind of frames and two screenshots uh, as you can see over here and i have uh, this frame which we will use in the video and i have this font which is useful for creating text like gta 5 all right so let's see how we can import that so if you want to import this text you have to click on window here and then click on text mesh pro and then font as a creator and then you have to drag and drop your font uh, right here and then click on uh, here you have to generate font and you have to click on save Alright, so you will see this kind of uh, font over here, this kind of. So, first uh, you have to click over here and then select the font, price down. And make sure you write everything in capital letters. Alright, so let me set its position. Yeah, it's looking cool over here. And then what you need to do, you have to create some buttons. To our, uh, before adding some buttons, we have to create side image and to create image you have to create a raw image and drag and drop your image inside the raw image and set its position on the top right all right it's looking cool all right so it is the time to create some kind of image or frame on the our uh, image so you have to create a new raw image on the image and you have to drag and drop your frame on the raw image and set its color to black all right so let me set the position where i want uh, to be now what you need to do you have to create some kind of buttons by right clicking over here and click uh, uh, create a new empty and create buttons and then you have to create buttons inside and then you have set its position and you can set uh, lock the position by using grid and i'll show you the final settings which i have done in my video all right these are the final settings which you have to done in your video and i have used the same process to make two buttons so all right so you have to set the button to color black and then rename all buttons to according to their need so the second one one should be the options button and the third one should be the quit button also rename the buttons second one to options and third one to quit all right brilliant now it is time to set its position i think here it is they are looking a little bit cool all right okay so it is time to create an options panel so create options panel you have to create a raw image and uh, increase its size all right, I have increased the size and set its color to black. And then it is time to rename this panel to options, panel or options, background. And then what you need to do, you have to uh, copy this text and then duplicate it and drag and drop this text in options panel. Here, I think it, we have to set it over here and then it will show. So rename it to options. Uh, make sure you have rename it to capital letters. Then it will work. All right, so let me set the position. Here it is looking cool. So, all right, so it is time to create uh, some three type of text. Uh, I mean three type. Uh, three type of settings so we will use text to uh, show the settings first we have to uh, show the volume and then change its font to i think the price down yeah the price down one you have to set the text to price down and make sure you write everything in capital letters to work if you want to work all right so set its position to something like here make it big and yeah i think it is fine over here and then duplicate it and write here. all right here music and then duplicate this one and the last setting will be i think uh, the graphics setting here you have to write graphics and later we will implement more settings like controllers and more much more things for now these are three settings which we want to implement i already have created a video tutorial in which you will be learning how we can create the quality uh, how we can uh, control the quality settings uh, so yeah you will get the link of that video in the i button all right so here you need to add the raw image and you have to do the same process as we did in our uh, main home page button main home page menu yeah so i think this image should be good and set its position on the top right 
all right so it is looking cool i think over here great so you have to make a slider over here and uh, control the volume and I have to make a new folder and drag and drop the volume text and the slider inside of that folder and you have to create an other folder call it music and drag and drop uh, duplicate a slider and drag and drop it in, inside the music and think there's something wrong let me check right here all right so it is working fine okay let me set it the position of sliders and let me see where they are looking cool i think here they are looking good all right great so now first of all we have to make it a little bit more big i think yeah looking fine here here okay so to control graphics we have to make an other game object call it uh, graphics and here you what you need to do you have to yeah here here what you need to do, you have to go to ui and then click on a uh, drop down menu here okay and write its name to graphics all right so increase its size and set its position where you want to set and change its color to black uh, something like this and um, change its text font to price down and set its color to white here price down and here you can change the name what you want to set so first setting i want to set is high so i'll write high and increase the size of font where you want to set all right so we have to change the text from here from the graphics settings you have to scroll down and you will see uh the options panel over here and you have to text uh, change the text from here so the first setting is high the second second uh, setting is medium and the third one is low all right so play the game and let's see whether it's working or not all right great so let's come out from the play mode and let's make them interactable now let's create a new c sharp script call it uh, uh, options or main menu settings main menu and open it up inside of visual studio so i have opened it up inside of visual studio you have to write using unity engine dot scene management because we will use a play button to load the new scene and here you have to make a new function call it public void play game and here inside of this function in the uh, curly brackets you have to write scene manager dot load scene um dot load scene uh, into write the scene number which you want to load all right okay save the script and disable the op options panel and select your uh, new game button and before selecting anything you have to click on canvas and drag and drop your main menu script inside of canvas and then select your new game button and drag and drop the canvas over here and then you have to select main menu and select play game and let's see whether it is working or not so yeah it's working so it is time to fix buttons because they were not changing the colors and they was not looking interactable when i click on new game button so how can we do that so to do that you have to um click on new game and then uh change its color from here press the color whenever we'll click on press it should change its color and first the normal color this one is normal color this one is highlight this one is pressed color and here we have to change the color and you have to change the color to white the ui sprite color to white i think or gray and let's and highlighted color to black and uh selected color to i think it should also black and the disable color to it doesn't matter because we're our buttons are not disabled all right so yeah it's working properly so we have to do the same thing for other buttons you have to copy these um button settings from here and then you have to paste over here and paste it over here and make sure you have drag and drop your buttons i select your options button drag and drop it over here and same for quit button and here click on minus and yeah because we don't want this button to play the game and make sure you have select uh, set this color to white and yeah they are working properly 
but the problem is the buttons are too much big and the text is small so what we can do we have to click our button and set it to small and set the text size to little big something like this okay so yeah these are looking cool so now it is time to create another function so it is the time to create a new function by writing public void show options as we want to show options we have to create a new variable call it public um the options uh, you can say options panel and then we have to set active uh, it true whenever we will click on the buttons uh, option button so we will set activity to true so you have to copy this line of code and write a new function over here with the name of void start and you have to set it active it to false whenever the game will be start it will not set active automatically all right so yeah let's save the script and um, click on your options button and click on plus button and drag and drop this canvas over here and select your um, the show options uh, function and click on canvas and drag and drop your options panel inside of options panel variable I think it will work properly and it should work properly so come back to uh, script and let's create a new function with the name of close options so whenever we will uh, click on the close button the close options the options panel will be closed so we have to create an other button in options panel to close this panel all right so create a new button over here and set its position something like this and let me create a new button and see how it looks like all right so you have to select the um, main menu and then select close options button over here and set its position as we did for the previous buttons all right so you have to create a new game object over here and call it quit menu and you have to create a raw image inside of quit menu because we also want to create a panel for quit game yeah so increase its size to something like this as we increase for the uh, options panel you have to do the same process and right here you have to call it a quit and uh, inside of this you have to create another text and call it or delete this text or, and copy the text from uh, options panel I think this one copy this or duplicate this and drag and drop it side of quit and you have to write um, the quit game or yeah all right so here we have to create another raw image and i think i should add splash image over here it will look fine all right so it's looking cool so we have to create some kind of buttons inside of our um the quit menu let me enable the options panel and disable the quit menu and copy this go back button over here because we will use this go back button in our quit panel all right um here it is so we have to create two types of buttons first one is yes and second one is no and let me adjust the position of our these two buttons All right, so here they are looking cool. I think, and now let's create another function for the quit game with the name of public void and call it quit game. Quit game. And here, where you need to, you have to write application dot quit.
great and here you have to rename the button to yes and no as to the uh, functions of buttons all right select both buttons uh, click on uh, drag and drop this canvas over here and select main menu and then click on quit game and yeah, if you will click on no then you have to uh, click on minus and then click on plus and you have to drag and drop your kit menu inside of this uh, game object and then click on game object and set active into false and we have to create a new function with the name of public void quit panel show so as we did for the options panel we have to make a quit panel and we will show the quit panel whenever we will click on the quit button so you have to write this line of code and copy this and paste it inside of word start and set it set active it to false all right so let's see here you have to select the canvas and drag and drop your quit panel inside of quit panel uh, variable and let's click on plus button drag and drop canvas over here and select your main menu and then click on quit panel let's see whether it is working or not i yeah it's working properly and whenever you will click on yes i promise you guys the game will be quit and here yeah, let me adjust something more all right so it's new. so it is time to add some kind of click effect audio inside of our buttons to do that you have to click uh, right click over here and you have to create an other empty game object and drag and drop your click audio over here you can find it on youtube anywhere you will find a lot of click sound effects on the youtube so you can just go ahead and download that and make sure you have um uncheck the play on awake before doing that we have to create a script and uh, create a public audio source and name it to click and then what you need to have to make new functions with the name of public word close button or click button and then you have to write click dot play all right so make sure you have unchecked the play on awake and you have to select all the buttons and drag and drop your uh, i think canvas over here and select the click button function all right so let's see how it will look like amazing so they are looking pretty awesome and yeah this is enough for today video and in next video we will be learning how we can create the weapon system and the intro system so if you have enjoyed the video just go ahead and subscribe now and if you want to get more videos something like this then press the bell icon and yeah press the like button too and if you have any kind of question just go ahead on instagram and you can ask me directly so yeah i will see you in my next video